Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. Today we are going to talk about suppressing warnings and suppressing messages. And if you remember our previous episode, uh, when we uh, imported this library, RUTILS, we got a lot of messages. I'm going to run this code right now. And as you can see, uh, our terminal is filled. And now, in order to avoid printing of messages to the screen, we could use a simple function suppress messages. And I'm going to wrap this library call uh, in brackets. And if I run this code, you see our terminal is clear. But of course, we still have uh, our utils library imported. And this method actually works with any kind of messages. Uh, I'm going to create my own message. If I run this code, of course, nothing is going to be shown to the screen. If I remove this function, we have our hey. And aside of uh, suppressing messages, we have another function, suppress warnings. That, of course, works for warnings. I'm going to write some text right now. If I run this code, of course, our terminal is going to be clear. And now I'm going to remove this, run it again, and we have our warning message. And finally, you should just keep in mind that uh, for function stop, there is no way to avoid this message. So whenever R throws an error that is going to stop your code from execution, you cannot avoid printing that message out. So guys, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and see ya.